12 days until the midterm elections, political campaigns are now literally in overdrive, trying to reach voters from every single demographic. And there's one outreach program that's been quietly expanding across the entire country. They're called Minority Outreach Centers. Joining us now with more on this is NBC's Morgan Radford. Morgan, how widespread are these centers? How, how widespread have they become? Jose, that's a great question, and it's great to see you this Thursday. Listen, this is a really Likewise. interesting strategy by the RNC, and to answer your question, they've become very widespread. I mean, this is a multi-million dollar project led by the Republican National Committee, and that money, Jose, it isn't just going to TV ads or even social media. It's also going to these physical outreach centers. They're brick and mortar, and it's where people can go in person. It's all part of the Republican Party strategy to reach minority voters, and it's a strategy they say is working, and they say will lead to some big surprises at the polls. Here in Gwinnett County, just outside of Atlanta, David Martinez is all dressed up for a neighborhood event. But the organizer for this local get-together isn't a person. It's actually the Republican National Committee. So were you always involved in politics? No, actually, I was never involved in politics huh. um, until recently. So are you saying this center, the creation of this center, sort of inspired you to get more involved in politics? Yes. Yes, it did. This is the Hispanic Outreach Center, one of 37 minority outreach centers that the RNC has opened across the country in the last year and a half, focused on black, Asian, and Native American voters, along with 21 locations geared toward Hispanic voters alone. <laughs> Supporting them with free family events, movie nights, even free citizenship classes. We're engaging with diverse communities more than ever. It's all part of a multi-million dollar strategy by the RNC to shift the margins among non-white voters just enough. Why did you all decide as a party to invest in these brick and mortar sites instead of, for example, putting that money in, in ads, social media, television, radio? Because we have done that, and we're not refraining from doing what we used to do. We're doing just something additional. It's a plan the RNC says is working. While Democrats still have an advantage among Hispanic voters, recent polls found a 14 percentage point swing towards Republicans since the 2020 election, with a similar shift to the right among black voters. I'm Carrie Lake. As governor, I will issue a declaration of invasion. This, while Republican candidates across the country focus on the border and immigration as central campaign issues. You know, we've seen dozens of ads and, and interviews from Republican candidates calling Southern border crossers, for example, uh, an invasion. So are these centers enough to counter that type of rhetoric? Okay, that rhetoric is uh, wrong. We're not against immigration. It's not that we hate the people that is in the other side of the border. It's that we love the people that is in this side of the border and we have to protect them. One of the fascinating things about these centers is how inconspicuous they are. Here at the shopping mall, there's a beauty salon, there's a dentist's office, there's an urgent care clinic, and it's that low profile that has some progressive strategists concerned. Does it make me feel good that they're doing it? No. Is it going to be super effective? I hope not, but it still is worrisome for Democrats to see Republicans showing up in neighborhoods that used to be safely ours. A strategy Martinez says he hopes will continue through Election Day. Is it working? Have you seen more people come to the doors, fewer people come to the events? I have seen more people come through and everything. They, they want to see change. So, Jose, it is important to make clear that those polling shifts to the right, they can't directly be attributed to any one thing in particular. But Republicans do believe that these centers are a key element. We also did reach out, of course, to the Democratic National Committee, who acknowledged that they've not chosen to invest in these particular types of community centers. But instead, they pointed to a seven-figure investment in Spanish language ads in key states, along with bilingual voter contact program. And they added in part in a statement, the RNC's community centers will not be enough to hide the Republican Party extreme plans to ban abortion, make health care more expensive, and gift corporations and the ultra-wealthy tax giveaway. So that was their response. The DNC also pointed out close to seven figures worth of ad buys directed at black voters, along with additional funding for black voter outreach programs and community engagement, Jose.